Hey guys, uh, welcome to Coffee Time. This is Sami again here, and uh, today is first uh, December 2022, and from Netherlands. Uh, let's 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 talk today uh, very fast and very basically about Swagger and endpoint uh, endpoint uh, end API in uh, C Sharp. Uh, let me say uh, here let's straight I have here just a new uh, I have made here new uh, a project this these all are default let me nothing here inside okay what I want now to do I want to to make here uh, a controller and I want to say I want to have uh, a small controller and I want to say that is my test controller okay test controller um, when I'm saying test controller I want just test it and uh, and tell tell you guys what I mean by swagger and endpoint and how about uh, a little bit uh, let me say that little bit uh, uh, complex object uh, one too many one one too many 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 and and those things okay and here let's say this I have here uh, I want to say here for example uh, I have here test controller <coughs> and I want to say uh, here uh, controller base because I have installed swagger when when I when I try to 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 set up new project it asks you do you want to to install for you uh, open API uh, and that is just uh, swagger okay let's see now I have here a test controller and here I say <coughs> This is a uh, API. Uh, this is API controller, for example, and here, mm, like, like other languages, no need to mention which one. Uh, almost all of them. Here I say uh, controller. Okay, and here. And here again, for example, what you wanted to return to me, say here, for example, uh, okay, give me response 200 back, for example, okay. Let's run this one. Let's let's show you some things, and then we are going to to implement some things. What's that now? What's this? Uh, okay, here. I'm removing this. I'm removing those two here show me show me empty project and then let's uh, let's implement some things this is swagger uh, which <laughs> still not uh, let me say let me say let me say uh, API web controller did I install okay guys this is better that I am going here for this one uh, here say a YouTube uh, API for example and here I say enable open API support this one this is .NET 7 you, you know what to use yourself okay let me run it let me run it this is pretty new project you see new project okay this is swagger here and it say try out for example this is api nothing front end okay and it gives you some information uh, about specific things okay this is interface of swagger yeah okay let's now think i have here here in my swagger i want to say here i have i'm going to stop this because i want to, to work very fast and just not talking too much and i say here for example here in models 
uh, I say here I have a model for example like uh, like you tell me uh, employee class the employee class has a employee ID and it has also employee name okay it has also this one and let me hear very fast that's why I was I was to, uh, to plan to 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 use other old project because now I have to install entity framework core and those things mm. entity framework core come on uh, entity framework core I want this one I want to do like this I'm installing I'm is installing packages from NuGet and here I say I say SQL server also installed to this project on that one I had already installed uh, give me tools also for example give me tools also uh, and after that give me design also tools design like this SQL server also I have it I think yeah and now uh, let's make our connection string what is connection string connection string is this if you if you saw last videos uh, probably you know about connection string and what is connection string okay connection string is this I say here is my database is this and here uh, again I have here I have here to add my connection here these are all a uh, configs and really I don't like to to do it in every video but uh, yeah and here tell me this one and here uh, I have now to make I don't want to make for example database uh, layers and those things just I made it simple just I say here for example I want to make application DB context I I take this name what I like and here I'm going to say here you implement uh, DB context uh, DB content you not coming okay look bro that's why I say here mm, give this one and cha cha and you don't go somewhere then mate uh, db db context like this and here application db context is this application db context as constructor and uh, install something I think I don't know I have to import something or uh, come on bro public class is it on this uh, it was, uh, uh, what is this now like this close that make it beautiful and uh, here just one more here okay this is my database context as you see here the name is uh, is exactly the same as connection string here and i passed again that here that application db context okay here this is the setup of my connection and now let's imagine i have here employee here i have just employee is that good okay employee i say here just first of all just a rebuild project one time for me okay now it's rebuilt it, okay and now i want to say i'm going to to package manager and i say here add migration and i say first one it's going to 
to migrate that for me and if you take a look here it made uh, uh, things of, of my connections and those things I do nothing m nothing okay and here when is that happened I see here now update dash database okay it's going to make tables for me and let's check our database here a SQL Server Object Explorer and what's the name of our connection here data 20 I go to data 20 and I go to table and I see I have nothing why I have nothing employee employee ID why not bro oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> sorry guys I have here to give <laughs> my uh, my things my, what's my, ca my class is just uh, employee and I say hey entity framework this is just uh, employee and you just do not crazy things and now again rebuild it and now say uh, again for example uh, update database let's see how it works okay and now let's here check in data 20 we have table nothing still nothing okay what I'm what I'm doing um, what I'm doing I'm saying here do it in 21 and again I'm removing that and I'm uh, and now say rebuild it again rebuild it again and now database is 21 huh and I say now again immigration for example uh, to the second one and now again update database and I hope database yeah and like this let's see or it's going to work that table for me it seems uh, create table and virtual in that there's nothing let's check let's check let's check let's check what's wrong with that uh, oh yeah here see we have now table which is that which is this employee class i say here employee one name is test one okay <coughs> name is test one and what I want to do now I want to say okay bro <coughs> I want to say here add a new item uh, and I want to say I want a class I want to say I employee class for example and it is interface you say uh, public interface and then <coughs> this is going to accept something like generics and I say for example I query belt get all I want to get all things from database and this is employee and this is interface and now here let's implement that interface uh, let's implement that that interface here uh, employee implementation for example and that is going to implement I employee <coughs> with the class employee this is okay this is good because when you make new class just you change that and you have that method and you don't need to make all things for for that and here I want a constructor here and here in my constructor I want what I want to load I want to say application db context in the constructor uh, uh, here application db context you say context and I want to say here private uh, let me see or can I find it somewhere here because I really like to copy it uh, I take this oh uh, no I don't take this here I make it uh, where I was here 
pro yeah here context and then here say uh, private read only uh, application you see that application uh, what was here I say here copy that and here ne, here and I say here application db context underline context for example and here uh, underline context is equal to context and now I have access to my database with, with this con and now I'm implement that uh, method which is this one and this is now really at the first place is really uh, okay uh, get it and it is going to to the context dot employee uh, and I say to list for now we want to uh, to talk about some things here to list this method gives me a list and I say here return uh, get it okay why not uh, I think I have to remove this to list okay I query well and now and now and now I have a method here which is now implemented and now let's go where is my controller uh, I made a controller bro uh, no okay I say here new item you a controller and I say here is employee controller and it is going to be controller base controller controller base cont lo roller base <laughs> and that controller base I want to have two things or at least one thing I want to say private first first of all I want to say private read only and here I want to say inject I func uh, here I employee which I made I am I employee okay and he, and in that employee because that that T is a class and here is coming just employee class employee like this and here now I want constructor uh, constructor has two rules public name of the class that's it okay and here it's going to accept um, this one okay I'm going to take this put it here and remove this and I want to say uh, underline uh, funk is equal to for example employee and now what uh, what okay now like this And again here I want to say here API controller and here is again route route you say uh, you say where it's path of something like that uh, and here is just a controller and it's going to add automatically to swagger when you use controller base it say there is somewhere that all controllers goes and there is controller base and if you use that your controller goes automatically also there <laughs> controller base yeah bro okay and now let's here check I want to say public very simple one action result I, d I don't want to talk about action result those things and I want to say here action result I want here you this controller returned me a object of employee okay employee in in this take a look bro what do you in this one in this one here 
here in this one I want to say get uh, alcho here uh, before of all I want to say this is a get method uh, and that's enough for now I want to say here var for example reserve underline employee dot get all and here when you when you do this give me response 200 with this okay and now uh, let me see or we have employee here test one test two okay and now let's run this let's run this and now take a look here first of all first of all it adds a, a field here which is say this controller has only one response 200 okay it has a employee id and a string as employee name which is in that class and if you come here it show you here a specification of that specific object okay and now let's see for example if i say i want to try out and i will say execute when i say execute it's going to send a request to this controller here here exact this method here here okay and now let's let's send one and I say here boom what is this um, okay let me see uh, let me see some things here it says uh, okay I want here to say you some things here in program here why should to to add some things here for swagger and json let me see or am i right i have to to add this for this realization and a string length okay because uh, it accept a limit range of a string length say that okay and now let's see or we get something again let me check it uh, very very fast uh, let me check it very very fast here let me say here to employee controller and if i want to say here that uh, for example to list uh, what happened here what happened here if i say this to list and then I say test it boom again saved let me see what we get the uh, inbound operation so for uh, I have to check this one and see what is the problem uh, get that is also okay to me controller base and let me go to my function i employee t query bell get all that is uh, okay to me and here and here I am not seeing something wrong uh, return get it uh, that seems also okay to me oh uh, let me let me let me 
scope let me add these controllers to to the scope and then for example i have here uh, i employee an employee and implementation of that was also employee employee implementation let's again check it that's why i don't want to make new project uh, we have to install all of those things again and that's really killing the time my time your time hey okay now we get now it's solved okay what was the problem we have to uh, we have to to add scope of of our of our uh, generic uh, interface here to to main program and uh, okay let's focus here and now we had a method there and this method gives me all of employee names there which is in database response 200 okay i am be able here now to set which response this controller is going to to give back okay but that's not the case now let's imagine this is now sami what's this now this is just an employee nothing special let's say this let's say each employee have uh, addresses okay let's let's make other class for example say uh, say address what is address address is nothing and more and mean id this address id and and second one is uh, string uh, for example i want to say um, i don't know is it a street 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 okay okay we have two classes employee and address each employee can have more than one address okay which is in this case here here uh, public virtual uh, i for example collection of uh, you know, this but i have a collection of addresses here addresses okay i say here i have here now uh, what 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 get it now here this is just one to many relation here uh, each employee has more uh, addresses okay and this is just uh, when i add it here entity framework is going to to make all those things for me but for now what i'm what i, what I want to do i want to say uh, let's check my uh, other class okay that is okay i'm going to delete my migration again and I say here my database is number three. Just rebuild, okay? Rebuild. And again, add migration, first new, like that. And here now, update database, okay? Update database. And now let's check our database. Okay, let's check database our 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 uh, our object now is data tree okay database data tree and here let's let's take a look at tables here we have employee which is this one the first one here we have also table address which is this one and it accept employee id if i click here you see it say it employee id is foraging key okay this is the connection and now okay now this is something little more complicated okay i say okay here i have now i have here now let's see i have here uh, sami employee and sami has two addresses okay a street uh, sami address one and employee id for sami was one and i say here sami address 2 and again employee id was 1 if i back to my employee id you see employee id is sami okay like this and now uh, i did nothing huh i say here just just now we are going back to method just run it again just run it again show you something and then work on something else 
I am going back to my uh, just simple method and I say try it out and I say here request again and look what I get back it say address null but but that is not true because I have here three two addresses okay and what's the problem this is the problem here I say go to context employee and return all to me but here we can say that include uh, include uh, include uh, which is for example this and that's addresses and close it and I say here now just what you see in each table include those addresses okay this is really just implementation <laughs> if you want to see the code here that's really big code uh, and now let's go to employee say try it out execute and now I get also a street guys this is complex object and now wait and now we have here some uh, object with a name and that object has two addresses no Sami this is not complex okay I say here let's imagine we have other class we have third class for example I, I say here we have employee each employee uh, has address and each address has what for example tell me uh, what should I say each address has more number I don't know number class number what is this class number I say here I have here again prop int and this is number number ID for my database and entity framework okay and let's now and let's now here say the, what, what is this class now I want to say this class has for example a value okay but this value a address can have more than these values okay what I'm saying I go back to my address and exact I want to say here I'm going to copy this virtual and I say here I go to my number class to address class uh, sorry and here in that address class I say this address class has more than one number in the name of numbers okay and now and now let's let's remove migration folder here and go back to database and I say this is number four and I say here now rebuild it rebuild it and now again I want to say at immigration uh, fourth one for example give me immigration and now again update database database I'm going to update database and let's after that let's check check very fast our database to see what happened there and this is data four and if you take a look here we have addresses and let's go to the addresses and we see here addresses has now new property and take a look here take a look here address ID employee ID and 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 here in number if I'm going in number you see here it has address ID as foraging key and how it works you say okay address ID one here okay what I want to do now I say here okay L like this I say here we have employee as Sami employee ID one okay and this employee ID one uh, employee ID one has uh, address mp1 and ID was one okay I address ID one employee one and I want to go to the number and I want I want to say uh, mm, for example number 10 and address I hey yo number uh, uh, you say oh yeah number 10 
and address id is number one and i want to say again number 20 address id again one it say uh, id one address id one who's address id one this who is this this it has two addresses okay and now let's run it and now let's run it and now let's run it Uh, let's go back to that uh, method and again run it okay you see it gives me numbers but null okay and now let's back to our interface and here see we say here we say include and and after that I say then include <laughs> then include which one uh, the table numbers here and now let's run it again and see it is enough complex or not then include and go ahead <laughs> no and just uh, run it again and as you see here we get everything as beautiful as it is Sami has address this has two value and you see it doesn't matter how complex is that but this is actually how we deal with with serialization objects okay and if you ask me what is this summy uh, just you have to go and and read about it how you make connection with link and database and this is really how it works and now but maybe you tell me say hey, 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 hey no 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 sami this is also not complex imagine we have here 50 field but we want to have two of them or five we don't want to print all of them okay there is too many possibilities or we make uh, dtos data transfer object okay data transfer object class and imp and instead of this we are uh, we are passing that dto class here or if you good in query and link you make you are going to to make a query just say just select new and then you choose what you want but this is how how api swagger api at least works and i thought we i have to make a video about it but that was really this one and this is for me this is complex object this is the beginning of a complex object because this is just serialization serial serial and it's just uh yeah yeah because yeah if i want to for example you want to make it for example some years back this is this is now really easy to make <laughs> nothing nothing uh, if you make it in java pure java or or some uh, older languages and you see what what you should do okay but this is how api works okay and hold this and we make the second part of this and have a nice day and i see you guys in the next video and ciao